Good day. I am Julian Denise Gregorio from Nueva Ecija University of Science and Technology College of Nursing. And I will be your student nurse for today. I will present on taking vital sign of a patient, temperature, pulse rate, respiration rate. But first, what is vital signs, temperature, pulse rate, and respiration rate? Vital signs reflects essential body function, including the heartbeat, breathing rate, temperature, and blood pressure. Your healthcare provider may watch, measure, or monitor your vital signs to check your level of physical functioning. The normal vital signs changes with age, sex, weight, exercise capability, and overall health. Taking the patient's temperature, the temperature is very important because it reflects the balance between the heat production and the heat loss of the body. And there are few sites which we could obtain its measurement from it could be oral, temporal, rectal, axillary, or through tympanic membrane. The pulse is the wave of blood created by the contraction of left ventricle of the heart. In order for me to measure, I am going to need to do palpation on both sides of the patient, which can be through her temporal, carotid, apical, brachial, radial, femoral, popliteal, posterior tibia, and dorsalis pedis. Respiration rate is simply the number of breathing of a person. It takes a minute and it usually done when a person is at rest. And just by simply counting the number of the rising of the chest of the patient. Let us now begin on taking vital signs of a patient. Let us start with the patient's temperature and pulse rate. Julian Denise Gregorio from Nueva Ecija University of Science and Technology College of Nursing and I will be your student nurse for today. May I know your name, age, and birthday, sir? Prince Carmelo, age 12, August 19, 2008. Okay, sir. How do you want me to address you? Mr. Carmelo. Okay, Mr. Carmelo, for today, I will be assessing your body temperature in different areas just to identify if your temperature is within normal or if not, so we can give you immediate care. Also, I will be assessing your pulse rate. It is a measurement of heart rate or the number of times the heart beats per minute. Is that okay with you? Yes. Before I proceed, I will assemble and clean the equipments needed and do hand hygiene. Before using the thermometer, clean it with alcohol swab and wipe it from the tip to the body. You can now place it to the appropriate side. And do hand hygiene. For this procedure, I will check your temperature using the thermometer. May I ask you to place the thermometer in your axilla? Okay, Mr. For the temperature, with the appropriate amount of time, the electronic and tympanic thermometer will indicate that the reading is complete through the light at noon and with the temperature. And for the pulse rate, palpate and count the pulse. Place two or three middle fingertips slightly and squarely over the pulse point. The index finger should be kept proximal to the heart and the ring finger should be distal from heart. 
proximal finger will check the force of pulse. Distal finger obliterate the backflow coming from the ulnar artery. Light pressure is given by ring finger to obliterate. Count for a full minute. Assess the pulse rhythm and volume. For the documentation of temperature and pulse rate, document the temperature and the pulse rate in the vital signs record sheet. Report abdominal result to the primary care provider. Document the procedure in the client's record. After using the thermometer, wipe it again with alcohol swab from the body to tip and disregard the cotton. And do hand hygiene. Now that I'm done taking your temperature and pulse rate, for the last assessment, I will observe your respiration rate. Is that okay with you? Yes. The respiration rate is a number of breaths of a person takes per minute. The rate is usually measured when a person is at rest and simply involves counting the number of breaths for one minute and counting how many times the chest rises. Before I proceed, may I ask if you're comfortable in your position? Yes. Mr. For the respiration, again, observe and palpate and count the respiratory rate. Like if you anticipate the client's awareness of respiratory assessment, place a hand against chest to feel the chest movements with breathing. Count the respiratory rate for 60 seconds. An inhalation and an exhalation count as one respiration. Observe the depth, rhythm, and character of respiration. Okay, thank you, sir. You may now place your hands at rest. Okay, Mr. Carmelo, now I'm done taking your vital And for the documentation, document the respiration rate Thank of the patient the in vital signs record sheet. Report abdominal result to the primary care provider. Document the pulse rate, rhythm, and volume in your actions in the client record. Once again, I am Julian Denise Gregorio from Mabaysia University of Science and Technology, College of Nursing. Have a great day. Thank you for watching.